welcome to another video tutorial with Märklin of Sweden. Today we're gonna weather an Electromotive F7 unit. This locomotive was in real life built between 1939 to 1960 and supplied to railway companies throughout US, Canada and even Saudi Arabia. The Märklin model 3349 is a bit special because it's a demonstrator. The demonstrator units were handed out or were loaned out to uh, potential buyers of the locomotives. So they typically had a high gloss, uh, uh, nice paint sheen and they were kept in premium condition of course. Why weather something that should be in premium condition? Well, as it comes from the box it's a kind of semi-gloss color which is not at all what the demonstrator were. Uh, they were high gloss and uh, very nice looking. So I will uh, put some high gloss coat, clear coat on this one. Uh, vanish that is. Um, and also make some detailing. So let's get started. I start by disassembling the locomotive. Each cover is fixed with a screw, which is accessible from the bottom. I use a soft makeup brush to remove any dust and other things that might be in the way for the gloss varnish. The gloss varnish is thinned with airbrush thinner 7161 with a 50%. I then apply the high gloss varnish on the sides of all of the three parts of the locomotive. I mask the bottom parts so I avoid getting any spray dust into the motors and electronics I have there. Now the lower part is ready for the wash. The wash contains from Valeo colors 941, 862, 824 and thinner, a lot of thinner. I fill up my airbrush using a eyedropper like this. I then spray the, all of the boogies with uh, this uh, wash to get that uh, grimy look and also to enhance the details of, of the boogie. I apply the same wash on the roof and later I will also use a brush to put streaks in it like this. I paint all of the exhaust pipes on all three units with engine black. Engine black is no longer available in the market, it's a polyscape color, but any matte black will do fine. Finally I apply the same black in a very thin layer using the airbrush along the center line of all of the three units, avoiding the very front and end so I don't get any black paint on that clear coat. Finally, it's a good thing to clean the wheel sides. I do that with a cotton pin and some solvent. And here is our Electromotive F7 demonstrator in high gloss. Very beautiful. All right, thank you very much for watching the tutorial. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. 
And if you want to see more of the tutorials, uh, please subscribe to the channel and you will get a notification once next video goes live. Until that happens, see ya!